Hey, good Tuesday morning, everybody. It is early down here. And my friends down there catching some fish. Man, the sun hasn't even decided to peak out quite yet. And we're already on to fish here in the surf. Man, there was some conking going on. Big bluefin and tuna last night. Outstanding fishing. No question about it. Some great calico bass fishing up and down the coast. And things here in the surf have been getting livelier and livelier and livelier. Things are looking good. Looks like he's got a fish even in all that kelp. Nice yellowfin croaker. Hey, let's get ready for the MB. It's time for the MB. Everybody stay tuned. Good morning, everybody. Use your double your line for the double San Diego. Yeah, that makes sense. You double your line there. Put that through the jig eye here. It's something that's kind of like a, something you do on boats here, but. <laughs> and oh, hey, there. looking good. That's your double San Diego there, then you just cut the tag. So that's what he's talking about. Chris Nobardo! Dear friends, and welcome to beautiful Surfside, California, on this Tuesday morning. Man, fish are biting down here this morning. In fact, let's put the over underline on this man at five here today, including this if he's got a fish. So, will he catch more than five fish or less than five fish during the morning briefing? That'll be a lot of fun to watch. That nice, nice yellowfin croaker there biting. That's his second fish, but only one for today's game. Really, really beautiful conditions down here early this morning as things are very lively what a night last night on the big blue fin tuna that blue fin is on the chew right now and it is biting full speed and the size of the fish is absolutely magnificent there's two zones to this blue fin tuna thing 40 to 70 pound area of fish or fish that are in the 40 to 70 pound class and then you've got that other area with 100 130 200 pound Bluefin tuna, we'll get into that. We'll go south of the border, talk about Ensenada. We'll also be talking about some outstanding calico bass fishing in San Diego at Dana Point. Up here in the Santa Monica Bay, we're seeing some more and more of that. And Catalina Island, San Clemente Island on fire. Limits of white sea bass in the Channel Islands. We're going to be on board the Island Spirit on the 4th of July. And you can join us on the 6th of July. We'll be right here on this beach, putting the hurt on some surfish. It's really excellent stuff. You know what time it is. It's time for the morning briefing. Good morning, my friend. Mm -mm -mm -mm. It is so good to be with you all. A little different microphone set up this morning. Uh, hopefully that's not gonna drown things out, the sound of the waves back there. But hey, it's really beautiful down here. And uh, you're going to have to keep count on this for me because I'm not going to be able to watch it. Hit that like button if you get a chance. We deeply appreciate it when you're able to do that. Share these videos with a friend. Tick the bell. You'll be notified when there's new content. And subscribe to the Friedman Adventures YouTube channel. And, of course, you can also follow us on Facebook, on TikTok, on Instagram, Spotify, and Apple Podcasts. Man, I can't thank you enough for all the subscribers up there around 14,000 on YouTube now, 15,000 on Facebook, 6,000 on TikTok, and it goes on and on and on. And I owe that all to you. Part of the Friedman Adventures family is doing good deeds in the community. I just wanted to start out by saying that I am so impressed with each and every one of you. Michael Ortega put in a hard day's work yesterday. He'd already gathered up some clothing that he wanted to send with us to Mexico, and he showed up last night during Tackle Shop Confessions, our live show from Island Fishing Tackle, with a huge bag of clothing that means so much to the people down south, our brothers and sisters in Mexico. I wanted to salute Michael and all the people who have made our program, Helping Across the Border, so viable, and I can't thank all of you enough for being such great brothers and sisters to people here in California, people across the United States, 
and helping us also in Mexico. All right, we got a lot to talk about, so let's jump into it with you all. Just a reminder, we will be on the Island Spirit Ventura Sport Fishing on the 4th of July. I hope you can come out and have some fun. Captain Daniel Hardaway says, we're going to focus mostly on the surface bike. Decent calico bass fishing, limits of white sea bass for one boat. We'll talk about just a little bit later in our report. There's also been a few halibut and uh, barracuda are starting to snap up there a little bit. We could fall back on shallow water rockfish. Fourth of July, Ventura sport fishing, 8 a.m. departure. We return at 4 p.m. Plenty of time for your barbecue and your Fourth of July fireworks. You can book that trip by going to VenturaSportFishing.com right now, or you can give the office a call at 805-676-3474. That would be fantastic if you joined us. And then right here on this beach, July the 6th, 10 a.m. Man, that's gonna be a lot of fun. These fish are nibbling quite a bit. There's a lot of kelp in the water. I hope that cleans up for the six because that can be an A1 pain in the neck. Looks like what he's dealing with right now, but it looks like some pretty brisk action early here. So things are popping here in Surfside, California. South of the border we go, 70 miles down the Baja coast. Excellent calico and sand bass fishing on the local scene. Shallow water rock dish, the bite is on. There's some barracuda flurries. There's still bird schools of yellowtail in Ensenada. It's been really, really good. And also offshore bluefin tuna still snapping. You want to get offshore and find some of that big bonita, some kelp patty yellowtail and some bluefin tuna. That is within the realm of possibilities. Not as consistent as we'd like it to be, but pretty darn good right now. More and more BFT, those big bonita entertain, and a little bit more on the kelp patty yellowtail. Ensenada biting very well. And there's a myriad of great operators down there. You can hardly go wrong. Arnie Man is one of them. Blackfin sport fishing, Boltes Juanitos, to name just a few. Uh, Little Horse uh, does a great job there out of Ensenada. Morris sport fishing, great job. You will have the time of your life, guaranteed. So jump on board with those guys. It was driving home. I was driving home from Tackle Shop Confessions when I got on the horn with Brian Pfeiffer last night from the Independence. It was early in the night, and Brian says, we've got fish all over it. Just put two on board. I didn't get their final count yet, but it sounded like they were off to another fantastic night on the big blue fan tuna. I'm talking to fish up over 200 pounds for some of the boats right now. It has been fantastic. The Islander on a two-day trip, 26 blue fan tuna, 21 of those fish in the 100 to 160 pound class. The Polaris Supreme on a four day trip, 81 bluefin tuna to 208 pounds. The Tomahawk with 11 guys, a two day trip, 43 fish. And they had those fish in the 160 to 190 pound class. The Pacific Queen limits of bluefin tuna, 31 fish in the 130 to 180 pound class, absolutely magnificent. I talked to Max on board the Highliner last night and he said, hey, we're still on these things. I think they had just short of 20 fish, mostly 40 to 70 pounders, their two day trip, 48 bluefin tuna. The Highliner has been putting the wood to them. Max has been keeping us up to date and that rig, they are doing a fantastic job. And when I mentioned the Highliner, I will inevitably get a call from somebody saying I was on that boat, had a great time. The customer service, fantastic. So there you go. That's a boat you can take to the bank. Really great fishing. Now that two zones to the fish. The western area that has that 100 plus pound stuff on it, you really got to be tackled up for that. And then the other zone with 40 to 70 pound. And virtually you're going to fish the same tackle. 100 pound Spectre, 200 pound bite leaders. That smaller profile jig seems to be working best of all. So something in the 180 gram to 350 gram, smaller profile, Daiwa SK lures are great. Uh, West Coast Jiggers makes that HD lure. That has been super effective. Really great fishing on those jigs and it has been outstanding on the big fish. And then that 40 to 70 pound fish, you know, I hesitate to call that small fish. I guess in comparison it is, but it is really something to die for. 
30, 40, 50 years ago, you would have told me we were catching full speed 40 to 70 pound bluefin tuna. I would have said, I'll take it every day of the year. Really great fishing. Daytime boys got a piece of it yesterday. The Liberty had 19 bluefin tuna. They left in the morning, they came back in the evening. Nice hit for the Liberty as they started to get that daytime fish biting. It's starting to bite with better consistency right now. It is mostly 20 to 60 pound bluefin tuna, but you never know when a big one's gonna get kicked in there. That daytime fish for those full day guys can be very finicky at times. So you might have to drop down to 25 pound fluorocarbon to make things work and smaller hooks and choosing a really good hot bait. When you go to a sinker rig, you can up your game to 60, even 80 pound fluorocarbon when fishing with an eight ounce torpedo sinker or heavier at sometimes, but really a great sign there on the Liberty. Also seeing a few more Kelpatty Yellowtail and that big Bonita's in the mix for those boys also. So I'm liking what we are seeing as it really looks like the light switch is on to me. Unfiled taxes, you wanna call our friend Tim Marquez, a best income tax, Tim's been doing this for 35 years. Give him a call today and it is getting hot out. Well, you can't tell right now, it's overcast and actually kind of cool down here on the beach this morning, but it's heating up inland. And if you have heating and or air conditioning needs, John Lopez from Efficient Heating and Air Conditioning is at your service. He's a great guy and will take really good care of you. So outstanding bluefin tuna action right now. Hard to beat what is going on. Man, you got a shot at that big fish if you want it or the 40 to 70 pound fish. More kelp patty yellow starting to show up. Looking really, really good right now. Let's talk islands down there at the Coronado Islands. A stone's throw from Point Loma. Some pretty fair yellowtail action. A little bit of barracuda, bonita. Good calico bass fishing. That's really the name of the game right now. We're seeing good bass fishing everywhere, it seems like, right now. And also, plenty of rockfish should you want to do that. At San Clemente Island, we continue to see that same scenario over there. Get an early morning. I mean, 4 o'clock to 7 o'clock. You get a shot at that dropper loop yellowtail. Fishing a dropper loop with live squid. Still plenty of squid at SCI. And you get that flash of fish in the morning. Sometimes it's one flash. Sometimes you get flashed a couple of times. But you've got to be in the game. You've got to be up early, up at 3.30 in the morning, ready to rock and roll. Fishing heavy line because they're big yellows that we have been catching there. So you want to be fishing 50 pounds, 60 pounds with your dropper loop rig and get ready to pull on some big fish. 20 to over 40 pound yellowtail are pretty common this year at SCI, it's been good. It's over about seven o'clock in the morning on most mornings and then you either drive around and try to find a school of yellowtail and stop on it or you start to work your way up the front side of the island looking for more yellowtail. And also there's been some great calico bass fishing. The Fury on a Dana Wars for fishing. 22 yellowtail on board. They also had a white sea bass. Doesn't surprise me at all with all that squid around and 127 calico bass. Catalina Island is very impressive right now. The bite there is excellent. Calico bass, some barracuda, some bonita, flash of white sea bass from time to time. Also some yellowtail running around. There's been very, very steady and good fishing pursuit. 22nd Street Landing in San Pedro, California, all over that bite with that really nice mix and variety to the bite right now. Native Sun, over 100 calico bass, 21 barracuda, three yellowtail at Catalina Island. The El Patron out of Long Beach sport fishing. Nice day, pushing 100 calico bass and barracuda. There's rockfish around, but it's mostly a surface bite right now. Cat has turned on. The water's warm. The fish are biting. It's really excellent fishing right now. If you want to get a bite on those calico bass, drop that fluorocarbon down to 15 or 20 pounds. Now you're a lot of times fishing in the kelp. So that spectra will help cut through that kelp for you and get you out of there. But you know, you're going to have to gauge the intensity of the bite. If they're going to bite 25 pounds, throw it at them. But if you have to drop down, calico bass can be very sensitive in terms of the test line that you are using. So keep that in mind. Cat, really biting well right now. Channel Islands, we're seeing better and better signal up there all the time. And the gray light yesterday, eight angles, actually six angles, but two crew members. Limits 
of white sea bass. Eight guys, 24 beautiful white sea bass on the gray light out of Cisco Sport Fishing and Oxnard. A great hit for them and hopefully a sign of things to come because we have been looking at tremendous volume of white sea bass for quite some time in the Channel Islands. It has been absolutely remarkable the amount of fish we've been seeing, but it's been reluctant to bite. Can we put a couple days in a row together? I am hoping that is the case. And there's also some decent barracuda, not wide open barracuda, but more and more barracuda, pretty good calico bass fishing on the kelp lines up there. Island Fox had 25 barracuda. We see boats that focus on the rockfish, catching copious amounts of reds. Great lingcod fishing also up in Santa Barbara and throughout the Channel Islands. So that has been really, really good. Hopefully that's going to continue to head in the right direction. That's the beauty of the Channel Islands. If the surface stuff doesn't bite, you can normally top off with some either deep water or shallow water rockfish and do really well. And our 4th of July trip, I looked at the wind. There's virtually no wind. It's going to be beautiful. Might get a little breezy in the afternoon. We'll be off the water at that time. It's going to be gorgeous and has been beautiful up there in the Channel Islands. So that is really great news also. All right, so islands are looking good. I like this calico bass fishing, and that is also manifesting itself along the coast down there in San Diego. Great fishing off La Jolla right now. New Seaforth, uh, also the Daily Double, uh, the Dolphin. Check out Anthony Noy with that big bass. That's a beautiful bass. Way to go, Anthony, releasing that big, beautiful calico bass. A bass bite has been phenomenal. Good fishing there at Dana Ward Sport Fishing as that bite has been really, really good. And starting to catch a few more bass here in the San Pedro and Long Beach area. It's mostly sculpin and rockfish, but a few more bass, Santa Monica Bay. We're starting to see more bass out of Redondo and Marina del Rey. It's been pretty good. And up in the Channel Islands, kind of already covered that, but more and more bass biting on the coastline. Also up there, most guys are going to the islands, but it's been pretty darn good. So we are seeing some good fishing. Hey, if you need something for Bromar Ahi, whether it's a gaff or their new jigs or their GT4 fluorocarbon, go to their website, and that is promarahi.com, and put in FA at checkout, and you will get 10% off. FA Friedman Adventures. Is he on a fish? How are we doing on our over under uh, five? I think we were at one, right? Or two? Uh, now I'm mixed up. I have no idea. I'm leaving it up to you. Put it in comments whether or not he was able to go over or he was indeed under. So some really good stuff going on. Promarahi.com. Put in FA at checkout and you'll be well taken care of. All right. Uh, once again, some good coastal fishing for the half and three quarter day boats. Surf fishing. There's another fish there, man. Another yellowfin croaker. The yellowfin are biting good here this morning, and we've seen evidence of that with birds picking just about everywhere, so that's good stuff. In the coast, you can see there's good yellowfin croaker fishing. Also, up there, uh, or down there in San Diego, there's a few more stripers taken down there in the surf, but mostly yellowfin croaker, spotfin croaker, a few halibut, more and more corbina starting to show up. You wanna know what that guy's using for bait? He digs up sandworms or gets sand crabs and fishes with that bait. That's what he has been using. Big fish bait and tackle for you. Friedman Adventure family members, you get 10% off everything in the store on July 5th and July 6th in celebration of our surf fishing event right here on the 6th of July. You go to Anderson, well, go to Big Fish Bait and Tackle. First of all, pick up your bait and tackle and get 10% off everything in the store, including discounted items and then you're going to come down to that big tower that you see on anderson and pacific coast highway you're going to park over there you can park across pacific coast highway at peter's landing also and then you're going to walk across where the big tower is out onto the beach hang a right and then walk down here to surfside california about a 10 minute walk you'll see a bunch of us on the beach 10 a.m right here i'll have some breakfast burritos we're going to have a donation box no one's monitoring it. You want to throw something in there to help us with our efforts in Mexico. It would be deeply appreciated. But come on in. Have a breakfast burrito. Have some fun with us. And who knows, man, maybe catch a bunch of fish as it's looking pretty darn good down here right now. And don't forget, if you are bait fishing these big bluefin tuna, and they are big, you don't want to trust 
your prize catch to anything but tro car hooks. They are sharp, they are strong, they are sturdy. They'll help you realize your sport fishing dreams. Tro car hooks by Eagle Claw. Man, they are awesome. All right, my friends, I don't know what to tell you. Some really great stuff going on right now. Big blue fade turn at night. More of a daytime bite. Great calico bass, barracuda showing up. Fourth of July on board the Island Spirit. Get to meet my brother, Paul, who's in from Taiwan. He's up there in Ventura right now. And uh, he said, let's go fishing again. So we're heading right to Ventura Sport Fishing. Remember, you can book that trip by going to www.venturasportfishing.com or give the office a call right now at 805-676-3474. And also, if you'd like to get on board the Endeavor, don't forget our dear friend Eddie Berrigan has trips in September and October, a two-day trip or a day and a half or two-day. We'll just split right there. And also a 2.5-day trip. That's a tough boat to get on. And the ambiance that you will experience with Eddie and his daughter, Bella, well, it's just going to be wonderful. All right, take care. Have a great day. And I hope to see you really, really soon.